Hi everyone. I hope you're enjoying these lessons that I'm providing uh, and I'm hoping that I'm inspiring you to get those brushes wet and to paint, especially during these difficult times when we need some kind of uh, release and being uh, creative is the best way to do that. So I've just finished painting this beautiful bird for my Patreon group. Here he is. And I've really enjoyed painting that, I have to say. Uh, and what I want to share with you guys is the all important eye, because that's the key, isn't it, when you're painting animals? Getting that eye right uh, just really helps to kind of describe the animal. So that's the bit we're going to focus on is the eye. Obviously, I'm not going to show you the whole demonstration because that is on my Patreon channel. If you want to join me on my Patreon channel, you'd be very, very welcome. The link is below. You just press the little button and subscribe. And that involves uh, monthly demonstrations. Uh, I also kind of, uh, like last month, I did two demonstrations. So it's not written in stone that it's one demonstration a month. We also now have a Facebook page as well. And that is becoming such a lovely little community and supportive group for everyone who's posting their work and getting feedback. And I've recently just put a step by step on there as well for the group. Uh, and that seems to be going down really well. Uh, the lessons I'm providing for the Patreons is, uh, they are different subject matter, it's not all the same subject matter, and it covers things like landscapes, animals, that kind of thing. And I start you off with the material list, which is really important. No fancy music, it's just me painting, giving you those directions. So we start with the materials, I offer you a downloadable picture, a reference picture, and uh, uh, what else do I offer? I offer... Uh, a traceable drawing as well. So if your drawing is not that good or you're not feeling confident, but you just want to get stuck into the painting, then that's always a bonus as well. So don't forget, if you want to subscribe, click on the little button below. You can unsubscribe at any time, by the way. There we go. I think I've sold my Patreon channel enough now. So let's get cracking and paint that beautiful eye. Hi, so this demonstration is for my Patreon group and I also want to share it with you guys as well uh, because I want to show you how we're going to put the eye in. Uh, if you enjoy what I'm doing and you want to see the finished painting or you want to see uh, the full demonstration and paint along with me, then please do follow my Patreon channel. Okay, so you can see I've got my drawing down and let's go through the material I'm going to use for this demonstration. I'm using four colours. I'm using the ultramarine blue, I'm using the permanent orange, cadmium red, and the cobalt turquoise. I've put them onto my palette here. I'm using a size eight brush, a little bit of wax resist because that's something I do like to do. Uh, and I've drawn my picture out with a 3B pencil and I'm working on Saunders Waterford paper. Uh, I've just put a little bit of tape underneath that. I like having these, this, these are scraps of old paintings that I've got behind here. And I, I like using those as well for just practicing my colours on before I put it on here. Uh, so just a quick word about the drawing. Yeah, it's always better to use a soft pencil when you start to draw. Uh, if you use quite a hard pencil, uh, if you make the wrong line and you decide to get your eraser and rub it out, then it tends to leave an indentation in the paper. Uh, some people like to see a bit of drawing under watercolour and some people don't. Uh, and again, if you use a nice soft pencil, you're able to get rid of those lines. So it's not as harsh as, as, as a really hard pencil. So a 3B, anything from a 3B upwards. OK. So for my Patreon group, obviously, I'm going to go through the whole demonstration. But what I wanted to do with you guys is just let's have a look at how we're going to paint this eye. So... I'm going to need a little bit of wax resist and I'm going to just put in a couple of little marks here just so I can catch those highlights. And of course we've got a nice big jug, my favourite jug of clean water. So let's put the eye in first and let's go for a bit of nice colour in that. So we'll block that in with that lovely juicy orange. And I know that I've put wax down here, but I'm kind of gonna be a little bit cautious 
just in case I didn't catch those highlights because I don't want to lose them. And we'll flood that whole area with that beautiful orange colour. I'm going to lift a little bit away as well, just lighten it a little bit. Lift a bit of paint off. While that is still wet, I'm going to work around the outside as well. So I'm going to take some of the cadmium red. Don't worry if it runs into that. It, it's not. It's nothing to worry about, really. Okay. So I'm just. Can you see the orange there? Look, he's, he's actually running into the red, but that is quite nice. It's giving that lovely flow of colour, isn't it? So I'm just going to put this shape in here, and it kind of comes all the way around like that kind of joins this speak area here a little bit more I'll just pull that wash out a little bit just so it follows that line so when we come in to paint the rest of this beautiful bird there'll be an edge and a line we can follow Okay, so let's let this dry for a second. Okay, so you can see that the orange has, has run into the red. Uh, I, I quite kind of like that because we're actually going to make this area here, this area here, darker anyway. But it's the eye I want to concentrate on with you. Okay, let's take a darker colour. So I'm going to take some of the red and some of the orange and make a slightly stronger orange and put it over that one. I'm not going to put it all the way down, just going to put a little bit in. So we've got a bit of variation going on there. While that's wet, let's take a little bit of that cadmium red. And this is where we're going to darken the outer circle. So I'm using the point of my brush just to Put that value in and then I wet my brush and I'm just going to feather it out, pushing it from the edge, feathering that colour out. If it's gone a little bit dry, you can just add a smidge more, pulling it away until it gets to meet the other washes. Perfect. Now, if I was doing the whole demonstration, then I would kind of move on to another area while this is still wet uh, and allow it to dry naturally. But because I just want to show you this one kind of section, I'm just going to put the hair dry on that. have a little look yeah that's that's lovely and dry we're going to mix quite a dark color now i mean ideally really we we want it to be black uh, and black's not a color that we use very often as purists when you're painting with watercolor uh, and it's not a color i have on my palette either unless i use black brush here, which i have an abundance of so let's think about the colors we've got if you mix these four colors together you're going to get mud, aren't you? You're going to get a dark colour. Let's try it on the paper. So let's take a bit of the orange, a little bit of the red. I'm going to take a smidge of that turquoise. It's getting darker. And a little bit of the ultramarine blue. I think it needs more of that. A bit more red. Now you're talking. So you've gone from that to that lovely dark colour. And that's perfect for putting in this section. This lovely dark value, slap bang in the middle of his eye. 
We're going to take a little bit of a risk now because I'm also going to put a little bit of shadow colour in there as well. So I'm just taking a little bit of that ultramarine blue and a little bit of the red, just making a kind of purple colour. I'll show you that. There it is. This is wet, so it's going to run. Don't let that worry you. What I'm doing now is I'm darkening the top half. And I'm going to put a little bit of dark into this bottom section. I'm cleaning my brush and I'm just going to blow that to run into that section. And this I'm going to keep as a nice clean line. A bit more water and just pull that shape round with the brush, just softening it away. And there we go. Uh, again, if we were painting the whole thing, I would be allowing this to dry and working on other sections. Uh, but for now, I hope you enjoyed that little demonstration. Again, if you want to join me uh, and paint along with me, there are quite a few demonstrations on my Patreon channel already. Uh, we'd love to have you. Uh, so thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon.